Hey everyone, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to build a powerful local automated system using NITN and MCP server tools with the help of OpenAI and uh, or you can use OLAM for smart responses. We'll create a workflow, uh, we can ask questions like uh, what are the best restaurant nearby or you can and uh, you know get the real time responses. So AI curated answer using brave search. Uh, with a combination of lo local processing uh, which I'm using locally uh, let me show you how it works so let's say I'm saying I so you see that uh, it triggers a message to the AI agent it decides you know to uh, send it uh, to OpenAI and uh, we have a caching memory here so let's try using MCP server and try to use a browser to get a response. Can you find me a sorry about the typo. Okay, now it goes here. It goes to the MCP web tool, uh, finds a response for me, and uh, it went back, you know, to curate the message. And once it is curated, I'll get a response. So let's see. So here's show some of the Chinese restaurants here. Um, it is actually giving the list of restaurants from the, you know, these apps. Swiggy, Zomato, Easy Dine, and all those things. Yeah, I mean, uh, let's try something else. What is okay? Let's see. I think it didn't ask this time. Um, ChatGPT itself, OpenAI is using that uh, rather than doing a web search. So it gives me a response. Let's try this. Uh, can you find me some best place? So, uh, I'm asking to stay near Valachery, which is nearby Chennai. So I think this time it uses web search and now it is curating my message. The cast is already done. So you can see the workflow here. And now <clears throat> once it is done, uh, it gives me a list of, and this is correct, uh, all these hotels are nearby. So let me show you how it works. So I'm running everything in local. Uh, since anything, uh, I can use it from the Docker. So for those who don't know Docker, Docker is something you can work. I mean, download this uh, as a system inside which uh, the MCP server will be running. So once you download it, uh, you can, after downloading all the options, you'll see something like this. Um, and then you can go to search bar here and you can type in it and where you could pull the uh, container and uh, once the container is there you can run the image so you can go to the image and you can just press run uh, so it will spin up your in it and server in your local and uh, it will give you a url <coughs> which is this url so once you log into here, it will ask you for registration. Once you register, you will be logged into your own dashboard here. And then from here, you can create a workflow. So for this, uh, what I did is like I created a <coughs> trigger. Sorry. So you can go to here and then you can say chat trigger. So once you click on chat trigger, uh, this will come out. And then you need AI agent, which is this. So once you have an AI agent, uh, you can connect with the, you know, the nodes. You can define all those parameters once you de define. So I think uh, you can't have two, or, I mean, this need to be added. And here, like you can see, 
uh, as a chat model so instead of open ai uh, you can use uh, olam so i'm using um, chat gpt this is a paid version so you have to pay for some tokens there and then here's memory for caching here you have to uh, you know install mcp server so once you do that uh, you'll be able to see here and then you can configure it so you can uh, create a studio you can set uh, tools automatically and list all the tools here so once this is done you can add uh, another tool uh, mcp tool so now the tool can be you know you can use uh, anything for here i'm going to use uh, web search so I, I'm, I'm going to use uh, brave so what i've done is like uh, i've created all the credentials here and uh, if you look at this uh, here is what the settings for it so so once you go to brave uh, i think the project is here you can use the command npx uh, minus y and then the whole argument you can put the brave api key which you have obtained from here so now once it is obtained uh, and the connection is established you can ask questions so the whole thing uh, the point of whole thing is like uh, you can set up mcp server locally uh, using n18 n18 is very powerful and i was talking to you earlier like you can instead of this you can hook up to another uh, server for example i have olam running so i can go ahead with you know setting the olam model and then um, uh, probably uh, i need to set up this and then you have to do the connection so i have not done this connection so once this is connected probably because of some connection so once this is done uh, you'll be able to use this model uh, for free the whole thing will be free so now right now i'm using the paid one but uh, the point is yeah you can use the whole thing as free so that is all about do let me know if you have any questions I can help you out with the setting of the server. Thank you.